Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to our second week of Celebrate Wonder Sunday School. I'm so excited to get started with you guys. Last week, we learned about God creating day and night. This week, we're going to learn about God creating living things. And I'm so excited to see what Miss Nicole and DJ Graham Cracker have up their sleeve for us. So let's get started.
everyone. Let's go on a nature walk together. Whoa, there's a bear. Did you see it? See those monkeys in the trees? Wow, there are so many different kinds of fish. In our scripture today, God creates all of the animals of the earth. God had already made a home for them. And now, God filled the land and the sea with all kinds of animals, and they each had their own place to live. My favorite part is that God didn't just make one animal for land. God made tigers, bears, spiders, caterpillars, birds, elephants, cats, dogs, and so many more. God also didn't just make one creature for the sea either. There were goldfish, sharks, turtles, alligators, starfish, whales, and dolphins. There are so many, there's no way I can list them all. I wonder why God didn't just make one animal that would populate the whole earth. We can have an earth full of tigers, and that's it. The earth could be full of fish and nothing else. Why was God so creative when imagining the world? I think God created so many different living things because God celebrates diversity. Wait, what's diversity? Diversity means difference. Creating it means you have to use your imagination. Even though everything was different, God saw all of the amazing things created and said they were good. Nothing was better and nothing was the best. They were all important. Friends, thanks for coming on this nature walk with me. We got to see so much creativity and celebrate diversity together. I love looking at all the amazing things that God created. I look one way and I see a zebra. I look the other way and I see monkeys. I look up and I see a huge eagle. I look down and I see a bunch of little ants. When I look at all these things, I remember, wow, God made all this and it's all good. The amazing thing about creativity is that there are always more possibilities. What animal would you add to creation? I think I would want a 10-legged dog that could run super, super fast. Or even a rainbow elephant. How cool. What would your animal eat? Where would they live? God celebrates your creativity, and when we all imagine, we get to celebrate the diversity of our ideas. Now, it's your turn to wonder. We're going to hear our Bible reading now, so pull out your Bible storybook and follow along with Miss Nicole. God creates living things. Genesis 1, 20 through 25. God said, let there be sea animals in the seas. God created big sea animals and small sea animals. The sea animals swam in the seas. God said, let there be birds in the air. God created all kinds of birds and the birds flew in the air. God said, let there be lots of animals all over the earth. And there were many kinds of animals living on the earth. There were farm animals, bugs, wild animals, and more. God saw how good it all was and blessed each animal. I wonder which animal is your favorite? Hi everybody. If you are in my classroom at church, when we read our Bible readings, we're always sitting in a circle on our carpet squares. And so I want to pretend now that we are sitting on the floor on our carpet squares. Which color did you pick today? Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about this Bible reading that we heard earlier today. And it talks about God creating all kinds of things, creatures. Um, and I wonder what it would be like if we didn't have these creatures. Um, I can't imagine life without all these creatures, the bugs, the animals, the farm animals, 
the animals you see when you take a nature walk. And I know today when I went to Stanley Park, I saw some really cool fish in the duck pond. And I saw some squirrels and chipmunks and I even saw a toad when I was walking on the wildlife path in the trail in the back. And I just wanted to say that when I'm out in nature, I always feel close to God. I feel closest to God, actually, when I'm out taking a walk in nature, looking around at the trees, the water, the animals that are around me. And I just wanted us to take a minute and close our eyes and use our imagination and our creativity and picture a peaceful place that God created where we can kind of think about and relax after stressful day at school, online learning, or whenever we need to, to find that place. So let's close our eyes and think about that. Think about the trees and the water and maybe a bird flying by, maybe a fish jumping out of the water. Toad comes jumping on the grass. What might you see when you close your eyes? Thank you, God, for creating all these wonderful things. We're so lucky that you created all of these things for us to have at the park, in our yard, all around us. See you guys soon. Hello, everybody. This is DJ Graham Cracker, ready to talk about more things to wonder about in God's world of creativity. Today, we're talking about animals. And I know you all have your favorites. Some of them are your pets. Some of them you see at the zoo. And every one of them has some interesting things about them that make us wonder. Did you know that a mosquito can smell human blood over 30 miles away? Yep, that's true. And did you know also that a giraffe only sleeps for seven minutes every night? Can you even believe it? How about this? You know of an animal that starts out as one animal and turns into another animal. What do you think that is? If you said caterpillar to a butterfly, you are right. There's another animal that has very tricky skin that protects him from his other animal enemies by changing color to match his background. And the other animals can't even find him. Lots of things to wonder. Curious, curious things of God's creation. One of the things that we're going to do this week is a very, very simple project. So simple that I've added two more projects to go with it. In your activity book, you have on page five, a half of four animals. And the instructions are to draw the rest of them, the other half of each of the animals. Then color them, do whatever you want to spiff them up a bit, make it a turtle cow or a, or a horse fly. <laughs> Just kidding. That's one project, that's easy. You can do that anytime. Then you have also what's called a celebrate chart. We're celebrating wonder, we talk about it all the time, we make a big deal of it. This chart is gonna make a big deal of how much you help God's earth and the people and animals that are in it. That sounds hard, but when you read some of them, like kind to animals, cared for living things, made someone laugh, helped someone out, you're gonna get some a surprise package of or a pack, an envelope in the mail this week with stickers in them to use on this Celebrate chart. 
And when you get any of your celebrations to line up all the way across or all the way down, then you have something to celebrate about supporting all of the people and things in God's earth that's part of your world. That's project two. The third one is the easiest and it's right behind me. God did all this creation. We already saw last week that it was day and night. Today we're seeing that it's animals and God saw how good it was. Each time he created something, God saw how good it was. And that comes from a verse in our Bible, in the very first book of the Bible, Genesis, in the very first chapter, 1, verse 12. And we're going to learn that. That's your third project. You're going to color the animals. You're going to do the celebrate chart. And you're going to learn that God saw how good it was. Genesis 1, 12. Thanks. We'll see you next week. And I'll see how all your projects look. Take care. What an awesome lesson we've had so far today. We've learned about our celebration charts. We've learned all about different kinds of living things. We've learned about the diversity, the differences in living things and how it's so important to appreciate them all. What a great lesson today. I'm so glad everybody got to join us today. So now it's time for us to roll our wonder cube. And if you remember, we roll the wonder cube and the question is something we think about all week. And then we get to discuss on our Sunday morning Zooms together. So let's see what we've got. Whoa. I wonder if you could be any character in the Bible story, what would you be and why? Oh, this is interesting. What character in this Bible story would you be? And remember, you can go back and look at this video and the Bible story is right in there and you have it in your Bible storybook too, right? So think about it. We learned about living things this week. So there's a lot that we could pick as our favorite Bible character in this week's story, right? Think about that for the week and bring your answers to our Zoom meeting. <clears throat> now we also have our prayer list that we've been sharing on our Sunday Zoom meetings. And some of the people or things that we are praying for may still just be in our hearts and may not have been said out loud. And we can remember that while we're praying. So let us be in the spirit of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so very, very, very much for creating all that you did from nothing. Lord, thank you for giving us a chance to learn about it all. It amazes us every day. Help us, Lord, to stay eager and excited and full of wonder as we continue to learn about you. Lord, we ask that you continue to lift up Wyatt's great-grandmother <clears throat> in prayer. She is still healing, but needs our prayer and protection as well. Lord, please look over Wyatt's family as they are concerned for their great-grandmother. Lord, please would be with everybody that is in school, whether it is in person or remotely, and be with their teachers. And Lord, thank you again for our Sunday School volunteers who want so badly for us to be able to learn about you. In your son's name, amen. See you guys Sunday for our Zoom.